persistence of contact. The persistence of contact implies observation and acceptance of the condition of limit that blocks the flowing of essence. To remain in contact with the limit means recognize strategies of escape, defense mechanism, search for answers, judgment, and to stay. To remain and to surrender to experience, open the door of the world and free the creative potential held in it. So the transformation process is activated simply by observing and accepting the experienced, experience which subtends what in biotransenergetics is called primary cycle, observation, acceptance, awareness. In order to stay alive, human system must maintain a continuous exchange of energy and matter with the environment through metabolic processes known as anabolism and catabolism, that is to say, a process of assimilation of nutrient substances and of dross elimination. The alternation of anabolism and catabolism, cherish and discharge, allow maintaining a dynamic balance, homeostasis, characterized by the fluctuation of many interdependent variables within a certain limit. The process of auto-renovation, namely the flexibility of a single organism, depends on the number of its variables which are maintained fluctuant within the limits. The greater the fluctuation, the greater the stability, and auto-renovation will be more efficient. Rigidity and irreversibility lead to the death of the system, which will give birth to a new flexible and reversible system. This assertion, born from the study of life, Burn from the study of life, besides being scientific from the point of view of materialistic science, are evident and verifiable by anyone who is willing to observe life in its various expressions. The balance is maintained through fluidity and letting go, whereas control and rigidity led to death. Control is born from a logical approach to life, but life, since it is natural and non-logical, always puts us in front of paradox. If you want stability, let things flow. If you want everything to move, stay still, do nothing. If you want to achieve a goal, do not desire it. If you want to receive, give. If you want to heal, you must first die. The more you allow change to involve yourself profoundly, physically, mentally and spirituality, the more profound the healing will be. If you want everything to occur, do nothing, not doing. Our self-image, the image of what we should be and of the world in which we live, constantly pushes us to adjust to it. So, chasing an ideal image, we try to have everything under control and we lose sight of ourselves and the rhythm of our organism. If we try to stop we realize that we are always where we are meant to be and that everything is already happening. Things change when we leave them as they are. 
not when we want them to be different. Sit down comfortably or lie down. Take some time for life to take its course. comfortable. Give some time to your body to relax, to abandon itself. Your mouth is open, your eyes are closed. Give some time to your breath to become wide, slow and profound. Listen, you are at home, inside yourself. Observe your head, your neck, your shoulders, your arms forearms, wrists, hands and fingers, your back, your spinal column, gluteus, muscles, thighs, calves and heels. All your body adhere to the ground. It is relaxed and abandoned. strategies to act, no goal to reach, not doing means not forcing, not resisting, not blocking your breath, nor trying to modify it, don't try to relax or contract your muscles. Don't drive thoughts away and do not try to follow them. Not doing simply means staying here, just like mother heard that stays still but generates everything. by little, you'll be able to feel your organism taking back its space and time, and you'll be able to feel your rhythm as they harmonize. You'll be able to feel your cells pulsating, your breath coming and going, and the vital energy flowing inside you.
Now we go ahead with the another practice. Practice four two. Biotrans energetics integration. Every organism is an interconnected unit and every experience is expressed on a physical, emotional and mental level. The three systems are vehicle through which the interconnected flows and its interruption manifest. The key of the biotrans energetics integration aims to realize an harmonic integration between the expression of self, that is to say between actions, the doer, emotions, the feeler, and thoughts, the knower, in order to reactivate the original condition of fluidity of the body-mind. The aim of biotrans energetics integration is to re-establish interconnected flow where it has been interrupted, operating an integration to the level of feeling, acting and thinking. To feel, to act and to think are the three functions of the interconnected body-mind-soul trinity, subject of any individual experience. This means that our thinking influences our acting, our feeling, and vice versa. In fact, if we were able with the heat of our hand to make the pain go away, easily our self-esteem, namely what we think of ourselves, would positively rise. In this case, our acting influenced our feeling and consequently our thinking. It could also happen that we consider pain to be nothing more than a purification of our organism, this way achieving to act with patience and endurance. In this case our thinking influenced our acting and consequently our feeling. Regarding interior experience we can now realize that the stomach age or a joyful feeling or a patient behavior are nothing but, in the first place, movement of vital energy, expression of the interconnected flow that pass through us. This flow is understood by our consciousness as constant flow of feelings, actions and thoughts. The more there is integration, resonance, harmony between feeling, actions, and thoughts, the more we live an experience of well-being and our body-mind will function in the best possible way. When talking about feelings, we generally mean proprioceptive and exteroceptive feelings, emotion, moods, aspiration, desire, etc. They express the aspect of the incoming interconnected flow. This flow moving from the center toward the outskirts of our body-mind carries environmental, both internal and external, data to our consciousness. When we say actions, broadly talking, we mean gestures, behaviors, attitudes, movements, actions, that express the direction of the outgoing vital flow which moving from the center of our body-mind toward the external environment tend to satisfy needs and to the fulfillment of self. When talking about thoughts, broadly talking, we mean images, fantasies, memories, reflections, ideas, etc expression of the elaborative movement of the incoming perception and of the outgoing action. Integration happens when the observer that is inside us connects interconnected flow with interruption of flow. Perception, actions and thoughts are vehicles through which the flow and its interruption 
express on different levels of the body-mind, breathing is the tool through which the observer can maintain the contact between flow and interruptions, persistence of contact between flow, breathing and interruptions will create the conditions for transformation. Therefore, Biotransenergetics Integration considers the following aspects flow of feeling and action, flow of images, level of the body-mind, breathing. Lying down, supine, you start to observe your breath and to let it flow without interruptions. You don't interfere, but simply attend. Now, you focus the attention on the flow of feelings passing through you. You realize that in every moment, as a living organism in your body-mind, vital process noticeable as feelings constantly come in succession. From the more vulgar feelings, such as the ones determined by, for example, your heartbeat, the relaxing of your muscle, the movement of liquids in your belly, to the subtler ones, as the pulsating of your cells, the flowing of blood in your vessels, or the vital energy in your organs. Also bring back to this level of feelings every emotion, mood, feeling, need or desire. Your body-mind is the entire universe, the place where in every moment the myth of creation is renewed. Mother Earth, that constantly traversed by the flow of the vital force, animated by the breath of the Father, your breath is subject to the work of the 10,000 beings and goes through infinite transformations. The observer that is inside you, reflection of the divine look, attends the primordial dance of the elements, the earth of your physical body renewing thanks to the flow of the waters of the expressive biological motion that flow like waterfalls when glaciers melt, the awakening of the vital energy that sprouts up like the forest in spring as your subtle center open and pulsate like the sun in a summer day. You are attending the flow of feelings that pass through your body-mind and you realize that every feeling is associated with an image. Abstract images of color or geometrical shapes, images of nature and of its forces, images of memory of past experience.
because our ordinary mind tends to produce images coming from the ordinary remains, fears of the past, desire for the future. We will have to try to maintain persistence of contact with the sensation you feel and observe the image that generates from this contact, leaving beyond possible background images, product of interference of the past and of the future. To maintain your breathing where you feel the flow of sensation and to do not interrupt it are the main tools you will have in order to not be distracted by the contents of your mind. By maintaining persistence of contact with your breathing, you will be able to constantly connect the flow of sensation with the flow of images and vice versa. You will be able to follow the process due to which a sensation generates an image and the image in turn generates a sensation. This sensation traversed by breathing will become another which will originate another image which in turn will transform and modify the sensation and so on in a constant motion of creation and transformation that includes the entire body mind this transformation will provoke the gradual access of the interconnected flow to contact with the conservative structures that tend to interrupt it. <laughs>